Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be setting the default sample rate for Pipewire. Now, this is a cool little application to get this done. It means you don't have to add, edit configs manually, which is really, really nice. And it just gets things done. And the best part is we get results, which is the most important part. As you can see, default sample rate is float 32 LE to channel 192 Hertz or 192,000 Hertz. It's 192 kilohertz, technically, if we're gonna put it in correct terms. Which means, uh, in a nutshell, playing audio like this, which comes at a really high resolution bitrate, it's gonna sound absolutely crisp as hell. And I'm not even joking. If, if th this is a specialized vinyl, and it's really freaking cool, it's got the master of each and every single one of their albums on it and it's so good so this is kind of needed for some people and i will be doing a video on my layout but if you don't want to like just watch the video for my layout on how to do it you can find it in my linux channel it's pinned i just updated it with discord rpm rpc and uh it comes with all of my plugins and everything needed for this except for the music you have to provide your music yourself okay so how do we do this? Well, first we download the application and it just comes straight like this. Then we head in here and we're gonna right click and open, but as you can see, it doesn't open. So what do we do? We go to properties, enable as executable program, run it, and we're gonna exit this. Oh, that was weird, Did you see that? It dragged the application in. Now, my highest rate currently for Pipe wire for my DAC, my amp is 192. So I set that as my default rate because this is what I also do on Windows and I never have any issues with it. Okay. You can allow whatever rate you want, but if the default rate is 192, go for it. I don't really see a point in the rest of these, honestly. Maybe this one for OBS, but OBS seems to be doing fine on its own nonetheless because it overrides this, which is pretty cool. Now, this is a short video, but after we do this, we're going to have to run this command right here. Now, I'm going to get nice and close so you guys can see. So, systemctl means it's dealing with systemmd. You are the user, and as the user, you're restarting wire plumber and pipe wire and pipe wire pulse. So, the minute you do this, it's instantly going to restart it and re-enlish It's going to use that um what do you call it the config that we just made in here see it right there so that's what the program made and as you can see there's our allowed rates for our sample rate and everything like that so there you go now your DAC and your amp are fully being utilized if you have one i also recommend checking what the max is for your onboard audio because some of those do run at 24 bit depth and you know, sample rate can be up to 192. Now, most people think that high resolution audio is snake oil, but those people are kind of tone deaf and can't tell the difference anyway. So if it works for you, it works for you. Don't let anybody ever tell you otherwise. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe, like the video. I have tons of other Linux videos and feel free to go watch them. I even made a playlist that has my guides for Linux in there. I got to go add to it now, but yeah. See everybody.